Hello everyone, this is Chidanand from Kratz Infotech NG. Welcome to this tutorial on Cisco iOS device configuration backups using Ansible and then moving them onto a GitHub server for storing. This is a kind of extension to my previous tutorial which is available on YouTube. What I did in my previous tutorial was um, demonstrated how simple it was to go ahead and configure a Linux server which is running on which was running on my um, Google Cloud to connect to a Cisco iOS based device which, um, which is available for us to use from the Cisco DevNet sandbox. Using just a simple username and configuration, I was able to connect to this device and run some configuration commands uh, and even get a backup. Now, I would like to take that a notch further and uh, let you know how to grab a configuration backup from these devices onto your um, Linux server or your Ansible server and then from then on pass it on to GitHub server. GitHub server is more of a source code version control uh, kind of a tool but that can hold different snapshots or different versions of the configurations which are pretty pretty important so if you have thousands of um, servers cisco servers or any devices for that matter if you have all the configurations it's always a good practice to take timely or periodic backups of these configuration so that at some later point in time if something really goes bad you can go back and figure out uh, what was the working configuration what configurations got uh, modified or got changed and what changed between a, a given set of dates. So with that, let me begin with my demonstration. Let me first show you my Ansible host or my Ansible server using which I will be talking to my um, Cisco devices. So I have used something called as an Vagrant, which is nothing but a small set of configurations which can spin up a virtual box in the background and uh, give me a Linux box. So I've already spun it up and I've connected into it. In all, in all, uh, you know, perspective, this is nothing but a simple Linux box on which I've installed Ansible. So let me show you. Um, let me show you the version. I have an Ubuntu 18.04. On top of this, I've installed Ansible. And Ansible is running uh, 2.9.17. I've also installed something called as a Paramico uh, plugin, and you can refer to my previous video to figure out how to go ahead and configure your Ansible. So I have Ansible up and running. I will also quickly show you what is the um, configuration that I've followed for my Ansible host. So I have a host file where I've specified the um, IP address or the DNS name of my iOS device which is again available on my Cisco DevNet always on kind of a server. So this is the server name and a few variables pertaining to that server. All right, so that's the small configuration that I've done. On top of that, I also have done another configuration which is towards ensuring that the strict key checking because I'm going to be logging into my Cisco device using username and password so i do not want this host key checking to be true so i made it false and only these two are the configurations that i've modified and after that if i run a simple ansible command ansible um, routers was the alias that i gave hyphen m and uh, ping all right increase the font yeah i'm able to ping to that particular device and um, I can also run some more um, playbooks. So let me just take a look at one of the playbooks that I had. Again, this was something that I demonstrated in my previous tutorial, so I don't want to go deep into it. Um, I'm using the connection network CLI. I'm firing this command against routers, which is nothing but an alias. And I'm taking a iOS config module, and I'm saying backup, uh, yes. And um, I was also renaming the backup just for my um, use case. So I'm getting the, um, uh, from the config output, 
which is nothing but a register variable which contains the output which is nothing but the backup so there's a backup path so i'm just renaming that file in the present folder as um, i'm creating a folder called backup and within this backup i'm just renaming it based upon the name of my server as it is in the inventory host dot config all right so let me try to run this and um, check if at all this uh, playbook uh, successfully runs and if it runs what kind of an output does it create ansible hyphen playbook uh, backup oops backup 2 dot yml possibly i'll just give a hyphen v so that i can get some verbose output out of that all right so this went ahead and um, it got the files which was nothing but the backup and it created it in uh, in a folder called backup so if you see this is the date and timestamp so just a minute ago it created a folder called backup so if i do an ls backup i would find this particular file which is renamed based upon um, the directive that i specified now this is so far so good i've got it locally but what i want to do now is somehow push this configuration along with even if there are multiple configurations from multiple devices i've got them beautifully named based upon the host name that I've specified. So I want to push all of them into a GitHub repository for a safekeeping. Now let me go ahead and create a repository on the GitHub server. GitHub is nothing but one flavor of a Git server. The instructions that I will be demonstrating would work um, exactly the same for any other Git flavored servers. It could be Bitbucket, it could be GitLab, or um, AWS code commit or any other uh, git servers so first let me go ahead and um, log into my github I have an account a free account I would go ahead and create a repository so that I can keep all my configuration files right in this repository so I will kind of name it uh, Cisco underscore backups make it a public repository that's okay i will just add a readme file so this is a repository that i've created so that i can push all my configurations onto this particular repository as and when i have a back i have a configuration that i've successfully backed up now whatever i did was by logging into the github server I would typically want to do this from the command prompt from the same machine from where I would uh, I would want to push my configuration files so to do that I would need to create a bunch of um, SSH keys it also works on HTTPS but the most preferred way of talking to git servers is using SSH so I will run a command called SSH keygen hyphen t r s a hyphen capital c and um, name of my or email id um so i probably have a pair of keys that's okay i'm going to overwrite that i don't want to give any paraphrase so inside my home directory under a folder called dot ssh there is a public uh, key that is created so let me let me take a copy of that home dot ssh and um, id dot public so this is my public key so let me copy this key and um, paste it onto my git server so i come back here to my git server and go to settings and under settings somewhere onto the left side i will find this ssh i will add this ssh key i will paste the keys um, all right and let me also verify if at all i can communicate to the git server using the fresh pair of keys that i have created so let me try to hit a create a tunnel ssh-t git at github 
dot com. All right. So it looks like I've successfully authenticated myself. Sometimes in the beginning it asks, do you really want to connect? And you got to say yes. So I can communicate to my Git server or my GitHub server. So where I'm, wherever I am at the moment, let me go ahead and clone this repository. This is only required for the first time. So let me go ahead and um, clone this repository that I've created. Um, So let's go from backups. Let me pick the SSH URL. Oops, wrong window. All right, so inside my home folder, I have another folder called Cisco, Cisco Backups, which has got a link to the GitHub repository. So I can think of putting my configuration files that I have um, kind of pulled down from the iOS devices onto this folder, possibly do a git commit and then push it to the git server. I have now modified my previous playbook so that I can use the git commands and then copy the backup that I've got from these devices onto the Cisco backups folder. Now Cisco backups folder is the folder that is synced up with my GitHub server. So let me just go through the changes that I've performed. Um, I've just introduced a variable here called um, GitHub directory and it points to my home Vagrant and uh, Cisco back backups folder. All right, I'm, this remains the same. So I'm first grabbing it and then putting it uh, getting the um, backup and then in the destination part I am putting that straight away into this github directory which is nothing but the home vagrant Cisco back backups folder so as and when I get any of these backup uh, configurations I would put that inside this specific folder all right now I would want a way to find out whether there was any backups which possibly resulted in an update to my github repository or not again guys i'm making few assumptions here um, one of them being that i'm not going to well, you know the the configurations is a one way kind of a push somebody will use um, maybe jenkins or a cron job to periodically push these configurations onto github servers nobody is going to modify the configurations on the github server that's one assumption the second assumption is that i would not want to because of this first assumption i may not want to do a git pull or git fetch and diffs and all that stuff all that i would assume is that whenever there's a backup that has to be that has been updated or a newer backup that is available i would just move it to a folder and then run some git commands to find out whether there's any local update in the Git repository, the local Git repository. If there's none, I don't want to commit it nor push it to the server. But if there's an update, I would want to go ahead and commit it. So while I commit it, I'm going to put in a very nice message where I'm, I'm just saying backed up on. Um, I'm using some of these um, shell scripts to get me uh, the date format. And then I just want to put in a time format or the date and this would go as a commit message before I go ahead and push my local changes. So this is only for setting a fact. And then most importantly, after I do all these for, for so many of those um, folders or for so many, I mean, for now I have only one um, in my um, uh, one host in my um, inventory file. Okay, but assuming that, you know, uh, all these hosts successfully go through and then I have the backups that I've got them I would want to go to this github folder and run a git status now I can also use a git sub module or a git module I'm not very comfortable with that so I thought I just run the typical shell module and then check for the written status so if there is no updates then possibly the git repository would say nothing you know uh, nothing to commit everything is working trees clean and all that stuff but if there is some changes it would say that 
okay there are some changes there are some untracked files or some modified files so because of that i'm going to just run these commands and the output of these command is obtained or it put into the register variable just i'm just printing it out for for a kind of a debug thing and then important task is right here right so i do a git add dot and git commit and the message is what um, message that i have um, um, composed back in this particular step so i'm going to commit it and then do a push okay and git push origin main in case you're using uh, main is nothing but the master repository master um, branch uh, on the github these guys have changed it whatever is your branch to which you want to push to all right and i don't want to do this all the time only do this when this git changed is the um is the register variable that has got the output of um, git status so if this fellow has got some string nothing to commit working tree clean then don't do this so if at all it says okay there are some things to be modified some things have got modified and then you would need to push it to the server only then go ahead and do this ansible hyphen playbook backup underscore github um, possibly i'll just give a hyphen v all right now if you see here this is the output of the debug statement that i put in so there are some files because this guy grabbed a repository i mean he grabbed some configurations from the um from the from the server and then that resulted in a new file being created all right so it went ahead and looks like it's pushed so let me go back to my repository and check if at all all right there you see there is this update and um if you say this this happened just now and it has also printed the timestamp backed up on and um, all the configurations has come in let me just try it once again and see if it kind of runs correctly or not i mean the whole point is that in both cases even if there's an update or if there's no update this particular job should run if there's no update it should kind of skip it yeah there you go it's saying it's skipped because um, condition didn't match which essentially meant that there was no updates to the file so there was no need to do a commit even if it had tried to do a commit it would have failed thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video hope you found it informative and as usual i will leave the playbook.yml file in one of my git repositories github repositories and uh, give a link and in case you have any issues trying to run it uh, please leave a message and i'll try to address it as soon as i can thanks for your time you guys have a great day